Hey guys, DMV Solar Rider. Today I am doing a little ride in Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh, several weeks ago I was looking for new rides and I came across this one and it looks promising. I don't recall specifically if there was something about the ride's description that got my attention or if it just looked interesting based on its proximity to the DC area. Uh, but we're gonna, you know, I, I, uh, I popped it into Ride Command and Ride Command has this feature where you can do like a simulated, simulated ride. And it looks good, it looks like there's some twisties, hopefully some nice scenery. And so we're gonna check it out. It is on the way down here. I almost had a, a big boo-boo. I was riding down uh, 95 South, about 80 miles an hour. And I was trying to pass a car in front of me. So I leaned the bike just enough to get into the left lane gave it a little bit of throttle and I was in touring mode so it's not like uh, my throttle control was an issue it was nice and gentle and my back wheel kicked out and it started skidding to the right as I was leaning to the left saw my life flash before my eyes uh, but I righted the bike up I rolled off the throttle and, and as soon as as soon as I righted the bike up it started I'm not gonna say it was a tank slapper because it only lasted for a couple seconds but the bike was seesawing back and forth scared me to death I rolled off the throttle this is all in the space of like five seconds the bike righted itself the guy behind me saw everything that was happening and he put on his brakes and that was it but man that scared the hell out of me you know the that Point of Rocks video I put up a couple weeks ago where I had my first fishtail on a motorcycle, I mean, that was nothing. This was like a, a big fishtail at 80 miles an hour with a mini tank slapper. <laughs> and I'm still here to talk to you. But yeah, I'm a little wigged out. So we're going to do this ride and we're just going to take it easy. I'm going to do the speed limit, keep it in touring mode for a nice gentle throttle since I've never been out here, but wow, it's already pretty. And we'll see how the ride is, and you know, if it's really good, we'll come back in sport mode. I think for most of this ride, I'm just gonna show you those bits that I thought were the most compelling in terms of the road, scenery, whatever. And I am going I'm to try and mix in some of that free YouTube music, baby. And we'll just do a little scenic ride. And then on the way back, hopefully I will have enough battery power because I passed Lake Anna on the way down and man, it's a really hot day today as usual in July in the DMV. And on that note, yeah, I know Charlottesville isn't exactly the DMV, but to me, the DMV is wherever I can make it to and back in a day. And Charlottesville isn't a problem. So it's officially part of DMV Solo Riders DMV. Anyways, so I, I rode through Lake Anna on the way here and there were people out motorboating and jet skiing. It looked so good. So on the way home, I'll try and get a little footage of Lake Anna. Anyways, I will revisit you once we're done with this circuit and we'll see how it goes.
kind of feel like it's the uh, Silence of the Lambs tour down here. Interesting, interesting. part of the ride it's, it's not gravel it's it's like paved gravel I don't know how to explain it but my back tires gotten a little fishy a little little squirmy but man I wasn't already wigged out from my near wipeout on the freeway I'd probably be going way faster than I should on these roads. Like I said, I've never been down here. I'm just taking it easy, checking it out. But I'm telling you right now, guys, I don't care where you live. If you like twisties and whipping through them, granted, this is a residential neighborhood, so, you know, you're not gonna have the road alone like I do right now, is my guess. But man, if you have a sport bike, you come down here and just go off. Just be careful because the road is a little questionable. Feels weird. I've definitely laid on the brakes on several of these turns. And this road is like one and a half lanes, not one lane each way. the day for me to be here, that's for sure. I'm going along like a gray at 25, 30 miles an hour. <laughs> I'm still wigging out. I just passed the sign that says go slow, 15 miles an hour. So who knows, maybe old DMV solo rider is still whipping through these curves. I just don't realize it. <laughs> I think we know which part of the ride is going to make it into the video. So what does it mean if it's a 15 mile an hour road and I'm doing 30 on a bagger? Is that good? I think that's decent.
That was not a good turn. <laughs> that was a, uh, well, <laughs> I might crash right now, even at 20 miles an hour. Well, that is the end of that twisty part. I'll, uh, I'll put up a the map again and I'll highlight the area of the map where that super twisty road is. Maybe the prettiest part of the ride right here. Just finished this Charlottesville route. I would say most of the ride is pretty unspectacular in terms of the road, the scenery, but when we hit that string of twisties, that was some serious twistage. I mean, honestly, you know. That's easily the twistiest road I've ridden on. I would say not a road for a beginner. Intermediate at the speed limit and if you want to go faster than that, you should really know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, I guess, you know, living in the DC area, would I come here just to do that route? I mean, yes for the twisties, no for anything else. I think there are other rides in the DC area that are a lot closer that are more fun. Uh, but again, the twisties here on this ride are substantial. Kind of that string in the middle, and then actually right at the end there, some really sharp turns. And I guess for me today, given my near miss on 95 South, I just didn't have the stomach for any of it. I just basically went the speed limit, maybe a little bit over. Every piece of gravel I saw made my heart skip. So, you know, like I was saying, I wouldn't come here just to do that ride unless I was really itching for some serious twisties. If you're looking for a more intermediate twisties, there are plenty in the DC area that will do you fine. Um, and that's, that's really what I gotta say about that ride. You know, I showed you the best parts. And now we're heading back towards DC. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna swing back through Lake Anna. I wanna see if you can get in there and jump in the lake anytime you want or if it's like a reservation thing. I know there's like a resort in there. It's a state park with cabins and all that. But I wanna see if you can just kinda roll in and dive in because if I was gonna do that, then you know, I could definitely see coming down here early in the morning, doing this ride, hitting Lake Anna on the way back, jumping in the water. Especially, I don't know about you guys, but in my area, all the pools are closed. So I can't, I can't go swimming on a hot day like today, or like we've had for two weeks now. And I'm itching to get some cool water. We are just about to Lake Anna on the way back to the DC area. Decided I'm not gonna actually stop there at that state park. It's just too late, I'm too beat. Still got 80 miles to go. But I wanted to show you what I saw. And as you can see, I have my little windshield extension up. Been fighting buffeting all day on the highways and I've had it so that's what that's what it looks like it's kind of irritating these moorings get in your way in curves you got to just basically look through them which you can do it's just an irritant there is Lake Anna looks so good 
Wish I could just jump right in. get home I'll have to check out the state park give them a call and see what the deal is about coming here to just go swimming every pool near me is still closed and that just ain't gonna do well guys Charlottesville ride wasn't a bust, but it wasn't great. Hope you enjoyed our video nonetheless. If you did, I'd certainly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in videos like this, with many more to come, I'd certainly appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell. I try to get my videos up every Friday, but until then, DMB Solar Rider out. I'll see you in the next video.